While many people were having the time of their lives, some were burning the midnight oil trying to bring their ideas to life. Bezos was devising a huge scheme that would forever alter the way people shopped. 20 years later, the Everything Store is worth billions of dollars globally and is known as Amazon.com. What turned a seed planted in a garage in Bellevue into one of today's most successful businesses? Dedication, innovation, and simple habits that you and I can learn. Good Lux is a channel committed to inspiring you to broaden your mindset, accomplish general life breakthroughs, and discover what personal achievement may bring us. In a previous video, we discussed the smart habits you can learn from Elon Musk, the Tesla billionaire, and the goal of this video is to educate you on some of Jeff Bezos' practices that you can mimic to enhance your life and help you realize your full potential. But first, subscribe so you never miss out on our daily dose of financial and general life knowledge. Learn what motivates Jeff Bezos, whether he works full time and how he spends the majority of his time. If you want to be successful like Jeff, his routines and patterns may be the secret. Let's get started. Every day, Jeff Bezos does something solely for him. Humans spend moments focused on accomplishing things for others in their life more than for themselves. It could be something they do for family, friends, or people they lead. They frequently offer others more of themselves than they should, which leads to resentment. Compassion is necessary, but it must not come at the expense of your mental health. Jeff Bezos recognizes this better than most. He understands that to live a happy life and develop a successful business, he must set limits and do everything in his power to ensure those boundaries are maintained. There has been a lot written about Jeff Bezos' daily routine. How Jeff Bezos spends his time is an example of how he sets his boundaries. He devises a schedule that allows him to do the things that he enjoys. Every day, he does something interesting and thrilling just for him. Business leaders cannot be robots, and the 24-hour hustle lifestyle leads to burnout, bitterness, and frustration with the growth process. When you prioritize your happiness and mental wellness, you will achieve your goals and live an incredible life. Jeff Bezos devotes significant time to purpose-driven goals. In business, setting goals is how you'll know where you're headed and how you'll get there. Jeff Bezos is productive because he meticulously schedules his days. Each day includes specific goals and achievement measurements. When you wake up with clear objectives that are linked with your values, you set yourself up for exponential growth. When you see progress toward important goals, you will have the incentive to keep going. Entrepreneurs believe they are pursuing the final product, yet it is the process that produces sustainability. Jeff Bezos takes a measured approach. Intentional days and a clear set of actions will help you forge a stronger mind and healthier habits that will lead to increased productivity and goal achievement. Working with a balance is one aspect that Jeff Bezos brings to the table. Learn from Jeff and set aside time each day to reflect on how far you've come. Balance and a long-term attitude to success and goal achievement are essential. It is an excellent moment to put in the effort that will help you become a more psychologically strong and productive leader. If you want to get there, study Jeff Bezos and the high performance tactics he employs. The true reason Jeff Bezos is likely more productive than you is his dedication to living an optimum life. He has high goals, but he pursues them with a balanced approach, which has resulted in one of the world's largest corporations. He gets up early. There are numerous advantages to getting up early in the morning. Jeff Bezos does not get up at 7 a.m., rather, he gets up around 5 a.m. You may be wondering why he gets up so early. The basic reason for this is that having extra time in the mornings to do things like meditate, journal, and answer crucial calls and emails prepares him for a productive day ahead. Jeff Bezos prefers to begin his day slowly, yet deliberately. He enjoys reading a newspaper over a cup of coffee when he first wakes up. Then he eats a healthy breakfast with his wife and four children. A leisurely morning routine allows him to unwind while taking care of essential phone calls and responding to email. It also aids him in preparing for more difficult mental activities later in the day. If you're a sluggish person who doesn't like to rush into work, you could find waking up early to be useful. 
if you want to meditate and think things through in the morning. Waking up early may be very beneficial for you. Make your own rules. Jeff Bezos what is an internal meeting without a PowerPoint presentation? At Amazon, the process begins with a written argument. Anyone wishing to propose a new idea must first condense his or her ideas into a six-page booklet. Before making any decision, everyone involved, including Bezos, must read it and analyze it. Another criterion established by Bezos is the two-pizza team. No team should be so large that it cannot be fed with two pizzas. Larger organizations are less productive, according to Bezos. Thus, the corporation is divided into autonomous units of 10 or fewer that compete for resources with their aim to make their customers happy. He sleeps for an entire eight hours. If you want to make wise decisions and choices in life, you should do it while your brain is at its peak, which occurs only after a good night's sleep. Jeff Bezos stressed the importance of sleep in helping him make wise judgments in life. As an individual, you are compensated for making a small number of high-quality decisions. And he wouldn't have made the proper decisions if he hadn't gotten a decent night's sleep. That being said, don't underestimate the importance of a good night's sleep. In addition to consuming nutritious foods, make sure you make sleep one of your main objectives as well. He does his dishes. Who would have guessed that a CEO like Jeff Bezos would be cleaning his dishes in the kitchen? You might be wondering why he can't just hire someone to do it for him. The answer is straightforward. He does it as a mindless chore to recharge. Contrary to common opinion, it is not only mentally difficult things that are good for your brain, it is also vital to recharge your brain with mindless chores. Doing mindless jobs recharges your brain and prepares it to approach future issues imaginatively. One study found that doing your dishes, for example, can inspire creative problem solving. So, by assisting your other half with the dishes, you're not only doing yourself a favor, you'll be doing yourself a huge favor. He imagines his future. Jeff Bezos's business would not have blossomed into the Amazon we know today if he had not thought long term. He envisioned his idea growing into something bigger one day. He'd still be selling books from his bookstore if he hadn't anticipated how his business would expand. He thought about his business every day and explored ideas on how to expand because he had a vision. Don't limit your thinking when starting a business. Always be on the lookout for fresh and unique strategies to grow your company. When you think ahead for a few years, you can develop ideas that will help you expand and support your firm in the future. You may make better decisions in the present by understanding the large picture in the future. Take chances and risks. When you think about what you'll regret when you're 80, it's almost always the things you didn't do. They are errors of omission. Very rarely will you regret something you did that failed, did not work, or whatever. That idea influenced Bezos' life before he became a CEO. That concept helped influence Bezos' life before he ever established Amazon. Bezos had a Wall Street career at hedge fund D.E. Shaw when he was 30 years old, but he saw potential in the future of the internet economy and had the idea to start an online bookstore. Jeff's employer felt the idea had potential, but he tried to persuade Bezos that it would be less risky to keep his current job. Visualizing yourself as an 80-year-old reflecting on your life and the actions you may regret also works for personal decisions. This extends beyond business and into every other facet of life. It is critical to take risks rather than regret them in the end. Make good decisions. Quickly. Bezos believes that making high-quality, high-velocity judgments is the key to operating a creative firm. The need for speed and nimbleness in decision-making has been critical to Amazon's growth into a huge corporation that is also an invention of the machine. These types of decisions have been taken rapidly to ensure that the company continues to grow at a breakneck pace. People or companies that spend too much time deliberating over reversible decisions this risk includes sluggishness, rash risk aversion, a failure to experiment sufficiently, and as a result, decreased inventiveness. This film closes. Thank you for sticking with us until the end. And for those of you who are still with us, here's an extra point for your dedication. Jeff Bezos is a frugal person. 
Amazon began in a small utilitarian location in Washington state, operating in a market with low margins. Amazon's DNA is frugal, and it appears to enable the company to focus on what matters most, its customers and ongoing innovation. What does Amazon's frugality imply? For starters, employees must pay for their parking tickets, offer snacks on not free, and employees must bunk in double rooms when traveling. In general, Amazon employees do not spend their days relaxedly brainstorming over coffee. Working long, hard, and smart is the norm, with no compromises on any of the three. Jeff's unique method of thinking long-term and taking calculated risks has helped to shape Amazon into the firm it is today. One that makes its own rules and evolves by the minute. Not to mention one that earns $75 billion in annual revenue. Take a cue from Amazon's founder. It could be your ticket to greatness. Following these simple but unusual behavioral patterns and habits may be all that is needed to realize your impact on our world. Your extra work today will have a major impact tomorrow. Tell us what you know about Jeff Bezos and send us your questions and thoughts by using the comments section. We will do our best to respond. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe so that this channel can grow and encourage others. Also, enable the notification bell for more personal growth content just like this. We'll see you in the next video.